Harry Potter is still a very easy door decoration to do. So why not do it? Going to do a door deck for Harry Potter. Felt tie door decoration. I've learned that Harry Potter is kind of a big deal uh, and I've always loved the door decorations that have been created by folks that have done Harry Potter themed things. So I thought that I would do a trial tutorial run of making a Harry Potter uh, themed door deck and I'm going to use felt um, to make the ties that they wear. Um, I'm not a big Harry Potter fan. Uh, but I have a lot of friends and staff that are, so if I say anything that doesn't make any sense about Harry Potter, please forgive me. This is what I'm going for, felt tie tutorial. Found this on Pinterest, as usual. Um, seems real simple. Have a bunch of felt in my office. Gonna try and do it. One of the first things that you need is a template for the ties, and I just did a simple Google search for them. Um, you, there's so many different tie shapes that you could um, pick. Uh, I just chose this one because there's two ties, and I knew that if I popped it into PowerPoint, I could enlarge it to the size of an actual piece of paper, which is about the size of the sheets that the felts um, come in. Um, so why not make it easy on myself and do that? And then I printed it out on some pink cardstock. I used cardstock because uh, tracing with cardstock is a lot easier than just regular paper. Things get squished and stuff. You can use a die cut machine or any other item that you think will cut um, out your ties. You can draw them on your own as well. I was just going for simple, something simple <laughs> and easy to do. So before you do your ties, or you do a tutorial, you should take a which Hogwarts house do you belong in, because I have no clue and I don't have a favorite. I know what the favorite of my friends and some of my staff members um, are, but I do not know which one I belong in, and I think that will help me choose which tie to do. So this quiz is written in Harry Potter font end in a language I don't get. I don't know. How do I answer these things? I didn't like that one. I'm doing it. Apparently, I'm loyal, dependable, and hardworking, like a Hufflepuff. Good to know. So with that, I will decide what colors I will make my tie. Apparently yellow and black are Hufflepuff, so I'm going to do that one. I may also do the blue and brown one as well. Um, so I'll have some pre-made felt ties. If anyone wants them, let me know. Um, so we're making your um, door deck. Uh, you just simply have to trace things. Measure out your um, felt so that you utilize as much space as um, possible. Um, get it close to the edge. Um, <clears throat> when you're doing the second one, trace it upside down. A lot of people don't know that you can do that and it actually will save space, whereas if you were doing it this way, you would be wasting some space. So flip that upside down and you can get it pretty close to the other one for tracing and I should have enough space to do three of them on this sheet. Um, so let me get to tracing. I'm using uh, just a sharpie marker just to trace um, and hold um, I'll hold the paper down just with my hand. Really simple tracing. All traced, um, starting to cut. Uh, make sure you have some really sharp, sharp, sharp scissors. Um, I have these little scissors in my office that are pretty sharp. Um, these scissors aren't very sharp, so they don't work as well. Um, but if your uh, felt's a little bit stiffer, they might work. Um, but you really want sharp scissors to be able to cut any type of fabric. Um, 
but specifically felt. Uh, on my black felt or the corresponding stripe felt, uh, you'll want to cut about a fourth to a half inch strips of felt with the corresponding colors. I'm just going to eyeball it, um, but you can obviously use your ruler. If you have a guillotine cutter, uh, this is just a swing line classic cut guillotine cutter, those work as well. Um, you can do it length or widthwise for cutting. Um, I'm just testing it out right now using the felt and it seems to cut pretty well. I was worried that it might not, um, but the blade is pretty sharp. Um, if you don't have a sharp blade again, it might not work. So you're just going to measure things out. Um, I cut small strips and then we'll just layer them across um, to create some type of pattern of some sort. Um, snipping where I need to and kind of layering like that. If you're going to be making a bulk of these, I suggest that you cut everything at once and um, then you're just able to really assemble everything at once. Um, if you in between get impatient like I do, you can obviously start assembling. Um, also making sure to pick out what type of glue in advance that you want to use. I suggest using um, hot glue. Just make sure that you're careful with, um, with that because sometimes people burn their fingers. So here I have my glue gun. Um, always make sure that you keep your glue gun on um, a surface that isn't going to get ruined. I don't really care so much about this plastic um, plate, I guess, that I had in my office. So I just plopped it on there so I wouldn't get it on the ground. I'm oh, sorry for wiggling the camera. Um, so right now all you need to do is basically glue your pieces on with uh, a small amount of glue, not too much, and then um, and then you're done. Uh, you can add a name across it, um, you can back it with um, cardstock if you want, because if you think it's too flimsy, um, that might be something that I will do. And then um, you can glue that as well with your glue gun. Um, I wouldn't use Elmer's glue uh, just because it's going to take a lot longer to dry. You can do that if you want, if you have a lot of time. The glue gun is going to be real quick and hot and easy to do. Something that I suggest doing is taking off your strip and um, you can probably remember where you put it and gluing a line of where that strip should go. Um, instead of gluing onto the strip, you're less likely to burn your hand. You can also just do a little drop or a drop and um, you don't use as much glue doing that. This probably should have been angled a little bit more, but that's alright. So I'm going to continue gluing all these on and I will show you my finished product when I'm done. You can download um, a Harry Potter font to your computer. I can't download to this computer because it's my word computer um, so that you can make the name for your uh, door tag, name tag, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is thefont.com. It's one of my favorite sites to use. Uh, really simple and easy to make this door deck. done. I stick it right on the door and or on my computer. Do, 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 do. Hope this is useful. Hope you'll try it out. I'm going to do a little bit more trimming um, to make things a little bit more even on this. And then I'm going to give it to someone. Alrighty. Have a good day.